Hey there, future nurses. Welcome back to Step Into Your Dream, the channel where we make nursing school easier and a little more fun. If you are a nursing student gearing up for ankle aches or you just want to ace your EKG knowledge, this video is for you. Today we are diving into the top 5 cardiac rhythm every nursing student should know. Trust me, knowing these rhythm will help you rock those clinicals, crush those exams, and feel like a total pro. Number 1. Normal Sinus Rhythm or NSR Let's start with the good news. Normal sinus rhythm on a, or NSR is exactly what it sounds like, a healthy heart doing its thing. Here is how you can recognize it. Rate, 60 to 100 beats per minute. Rhythm, regular like your favorite song on repeat. P wave present and upright before every QRS complex. PR interval and QRS complex both normal. Pro tip for NCLEX, if you see NSR on a question, the answer is usually no intervention needed. It's the baseline for comparison. Number two, bradycardia. Next up is bradycardia, a rhythm where the heart is taking a little too much time between beats. Here is what to look for. Rate, less than 60 beats per minute. Rhythm, regular, just slow. P wave, PR intervals, and QRS all normal. Causes It could be due to medications like beta blockers or even vagal maneuver like bearing down. And click tip If a patient has symptoms like dizziness or fatigue, bradycardia might need intervention, like atropine or pacemaker. Number 3 Ventricular fibrillation or VFib. Now let's talk about the most dangerous rhythm you will see. Ventricular fibrillation or VFib, this is a chaotic mess where the ventricles are basically quivering instead of contracting. Characteristics include rate, indistinguishable, pure chaos, rhythm, completely irregular, P wave PR interval QRS, none, causes. It can happen after a heart attack with electrolyte imbalances or even from elect electrical shock. Enclex tip, the answer will always be defib the vfib. Immediate defibrillation and CPR are life-saving measures. Number four, ventricular tachycardia, VTAC. On to another heavy hitter, ventricular tachycardia or VTAC. Imagine your heart is speeding down the highway at 200 miles per hour. That's VTAC. Key features are Rate 100 to 250 beats per minute. Rhythm regular with wide QRS complexes. P wave and PR interval not present. And causes VTAC can be triggered by electrolyte imbalances or previous cardiac injury. NCLEX tip. If the patient is stable, they may get medications like amiodarone. If they are unstable, boom, it's time for synchronized cardioversion. Number 5. Atrial Fibrillation or AFib Last but not least, let's talk about atrial fibrillation or AFib. It's one of the most common arrhythmias you will encounter instead of regular heartbeat, the atria are quivering. Look for these clues. Rate often over 100 beat per minute, rhythm irregularly irregular, P wave and PR intervals none, the atria aren't contracting, remember they are just quivering. QRS normal. Causes Think holiday heart syndrome, too much alcohol, or issues like hypothyroidism or heart surgery. NCLEX tip For stable patient, anticoagulants like warfarin are, are key to prevent clots. For unstable patient, cardioversion might be necessary. Okay, let's quickly recap all these information. For NSR, healthy heart, no intervention needed. For bradycardia, slow but steady heart rate might need it atropine. VFib, total chaos, start CPR and defibrillate. VTAC, fast and furious, mesor cardioversion. AFib, irregularly irregular, manage rate to prevent clots. These rhythms are the bread and butter of EKG interpretation, so please know them well. 
Thanks for tuning in. If this video helped you to feel a little more confident about EKGs, give it a big thumbs up and share it with your study buddies. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification so you never miss a beat, literally. Until next time, keep studying, stay inspired, and remember, you've got this. Thanks so much for watching.